Hey everybody, welcome to another Urban Surfer product video. Um, I'm Ian and today we're going to be looking at ski goggles. Come to that time of year, so I thought I'd start with one of my favourite pairs, which is the Dirty Dog Afterburners. reason I love them is because... Let me get them out there. Da, 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 da. The green. They're just awesome. I love anything in green. Even if they were terrible goggles, I would still love these just for the colour on them. Beautiful blue lens, really great bold um, green colour. However, there's a little bit more about them than that. The TUP construction, sorry, TPU construction, I always get those wrong, um, makes them really, really strong, really durable. Nice little bit of flex on them though, as well, you know, because you do need that little bit of give in there. Um, awesome venting system in them. That's nothing worse than your goggle fogging up um, halfway down the run. Really, really nice pattern on there. Really comfortable goggle. I'll turn it around so you can actually see it instead of just looking at it myself. Um, comfort, obviously, comfort and fit is a big thing for anyone. Um, it's got the triple layer form in there. It's soft, comfortable, but it is durable and will last. Big, big feature for me is, obviously, it's got the 40mm strap on. But I'm not sure whether you can see it on camera there, it's got the gel, um, I'll just get the proper name for it. Da, da, da. It is the Silicon B, God how did I not remember that one. I'm forever, I wear a helmet all the time, so obviously every time you get two minutes, goggles on the top of the helmet, and I get sick of getting off a lift, get yourself strapped in, you're ready to go and all of a sudden you know, you're know you fishing round back here, you're trying to look for your goggles because they've pinged off the back and you haven't noticed. Um, silicon strap, keep, it's silicon bead, keeps it really, really steady, means it's much, much more likely to stay where you put it. Um, you know, you're not having to adjust all the time and stuff like that as well. But also, really comfortable for if you're just wearing a beanie or something like that on the slope. Um, really nice. Flex on there, helmet compatible, but obviously you can wear it in all other standards. Um, another big thing for me though is scratch resistant lenses, anti-fog scratch resistant lenses. I am appalling at uh, scratching lenses. And in fact, as an aside, doesn't matter what uh, goggles you're wearing at the moment, if you've got a set that of scratch, we've got a load of different uh, replacement lenses for a load of different brands. Um, I'll chuck the link down below for you so you can have a look at that if you want. However, you know, treat yourself to a new pair of goggles, why not? You can also get a number of different lenses for them. Um, like I say, final point, big thing for me is the tested with materials down to minus 20. I had a mare last year. We were in Bulgaria, it was minus 20 before, wind chill, and it just fogged up every time. The minute you breathed in, well, that was it. Ice on the inside, you couldn't save all day. So it's tested with materials down to that, so you know it'll be reliable, you know you're not going to get any cracking, and you know it's going to be still comfortable at those temperatures. Um, so like I say, absolutely awesome um, goggle. I will be doing a couple of other goggles videos over sort of the next few days, weeks, months, whatever. So keep an eye out for that if you want to have a look at some of our other brands, electric, such like um, Dragon, things like that. Um, however, really, really great pair of goggles. If you'd like many more information, I've got the link for the product page below. If you'd like to have a look at the full range, I've got the link for that as well for our goggles section so you can have a look about see what else is about. Thanks very much for your time. And I'll speak to you all again soon. Cheers. Bye.